Welcome to Dave's Garage. Today we're going to be talking about uh, the Kawasaki Versys X300 and we're just going to kind of focus on one topic and that is the auxiliary lights where you can go uh, one or two ways with either the OEM factory Kawasaki aux lights or go with a, obviously just a, an infinite number of aftermarket. So I'm going to show you some um, some, some cabling, some connectors, and how you can use this to either stay with Kawasaki, uh, just purchase the Kawasaki parts, or if you want to go with aftermarket lights, but interface to the Kawasaki uh, dash uh, wiring and the Kawasaki aux light harness, uh, you can buy that separately, and it's very inexpensive. That's what that's the appeal, and you, so you can buy just third-party. Um, like connectors that interface right up to that so there, there's no cutting there's no soldering there's no splicing no heat shrinking uh, waterproofing and uh, makes your life a lot easier what I'll show you all the parts all the part numbers the sources the links the uh, cost and such will be in the text right below this video so enjoy and on with the show welcome back to Dave's garage Today we're going to be uh, looking at auxiliary lighting on the uh, Kawasaki Versys X300 and we're focusing primarily on the forward facing uh, aux lights that are used uh, either the OEM or aftermarket that a lot of people put on their bikes for additional forward facing lighting or in my case I, I really don't ride much at night I try to just use these extra lights just for visibility during the day just to have you know more visibility is always safer visibility we're going to be focusing on the um, forward facing lights and I've when I bought my uh, X300 uh, like really at the, the, the same time I bought the auxiliary lights these are the OEM fairly large form factor I bought the Kawasaki OEM crash bars and they play together as a, as a team here and the crash uh, the auxiliary lights come as a pair they come with uh, all one part number all one purchase they come with a harness that you have to kind of install behind the headlight kind of horizontally, horizontally across the bike and has one connector at this end that interfaces with the uh, push button switch for the on and off, and this is keyed. It only only works when it, when the key is on. It comes with another connector that's located here, and it's just a little two-pin white connector. And this is how every the harness and the switch and the lights, you know, gets its 12 volts from the from the from the bike. That is a keyed two two position white connector. And it originally, you know, it comes with just a little plastic cap you have to take off in order to plug in the uh, wire harness the aux lights harness then the other two you know it only has a total of four connectors and the, the final two connectors of course are out here at the end right here's one this is a connector for the um, aux light on this side of the bike and again it has another connector here for this side so when you're installing you just have to take off a, unfortunately a lot of your plastic that's a that's a different video or should be a different video and you're feeding that cable through you're connecting this and this these two lights you're just plugging in uh, a little little pigtail and mounting the uh, switch on the dash right here and then on this side here there's just a little two pin white connector and you just snap click that in so it's a, it's plug and play there, there's there's no um, there's no work other than taking all the plastic off and of course some some bolts here to just mount it to the bars the Kawasaki as it comes has like three provisions right here one is that two pin white connector that can be used for these aux lights and later on I'll explain why you can you can go with somebody else's harness or somebody else's lights if you want and then the second thing is there's two barrel connectors round connectors that have a translucent green kind of like rubber tube over them very distinctive so you can't miss them those are meant to power whatever you're putting in your dash over here Kawasaki of course sells that 12 volt socket it looks like old-fashioned cigarette lighter 
Um, I chose not to do that. I, I've got a, um, a a dual charging port here, USB A's, kind of a you know general purpose. Works out great. And then that the, the third position, the third little provision here, you have to purchase a separate separate part number, separate purchase relay, a relay from Kawasaki that snap clicks into a four pin, looks like a connector or socket, snap clicks in and just slides onto a little blade so it, it holds it, you know, permanently or tempor temporarily. And that's all you get. So installing this, once you get the, um, the top, top cowl here off, side cowl off, side cowl off, the, the, the wiring it up and, and putting the switch in the dash and snap click the connector, snap click the connector, the connector and the connector. It goes real quick and then you just got to put these back on. Once you've taken this plastic off a couple of times, uh, it's really no big deal. You just, you know where to find everything and where to, where to, where to go next. And next we're going to be going down in the, um, my uh, below ground top secret lab and I'll be explaining um, how we can use over-the-counter um, already ready-made pigtail connectors and come up with a real simple uh, waterproof uh, you know connector uh, for the the power connector for the for the lights you know just over-the-counter um, it's by a company called Sumitomo Sumitomo a Japanese company that makes obviously a lot of the connectors for the Japanese motorcycles and I've managed to buy a whole bunch of that kind of stuff off off Amazon so that'll be next so we're now in the um, underground top secret lab otherwise known as my junk corner in the basement and this is where I lose my mind uh, working on X300 projects well lose my mind might be an exaggeration but Anyways, this one was a small project, but it was uh, took a few twists and turns. Let me show you what I mean. Well, well I'm talking about a um, OEM Kawasaki auxiliary light harness. This is what you get. You get one of these in a nice little bag from Kawasaki. This is an unbelievable bargain at like $5. Unbelievable. So this is what you start with. I have another... Kawasaki harness kind of spread out here and we're going to just kind of quickly go through the purchases and, and so you can purchase the items you need for whatever kind of project you're getting yourself into. The harness as I mentioned when it's installed it goes horizontally kind of behind the center part here it goes horizontally behind the headlight. Think of this as the headlight in front of it. Right behind there is where you're going to tuck this through. This comes from the two pin connector on the bike. This two pin connector on the bike is provided by Kawasaki. It has that plastic uh, like cap on it. So this purchase is this purchase. And it's a Bollinger Motorsports. All these connectors come from a Japanese company called Sumitomo. Sum, sum, Sumitomo. And they're all part of a and what they call a 090 family of connectors. I'll call it a series of different connectors. There are MT series within that 090. I think that's 90 thousandths because it's also referenced as 2.2 millimeter. But there's MT. There's a, This is another MT variant. These here are HM and MTs. And there's even one more forget now this is HM but they're all part of a a group of 090 I think it's 0 0.090 inches or 90 thousandths kind of a family but the the bike you're gonna see this right there like I mentioned on the right side um, there's a relay socket there's a two pin connector and then there's two translucent green barrel connectors this just snap clicks into this harness boom done so now you've got power coming to this harness and it's switched by whatever you do with this connector. This connector is a four pin and it just snap clicks into a very short uh, you know, piece of uh, cabling and then the on and off switch is right here on your dash if you can envision what I'm trying to 
trying to do here. So that's your switch. This is coming in from your connector from your, your bike. This was purchase number two because if something goes wrong with this connector or this connector, or you want to do something different or let's say you, you mess one up. Well, I went ahead and I bought a um, set of five. So you have both the, um, the harness side connectors and the bike side connectors. You get five each. And that's what this pick, this one was. This here is a, um, well, this is kind of like the name of the source, but it's, if you worked with Amazon, it's just kind of gibberish. Again, it's a Sumitomo MT-090 series, and you get five sets for like 19 18 uh, the cost, $19. The aux lights ends, you have some choices here. This is the first one I ran across. However, when you're doing it, you're getting the mating connector that would plug directly in instead of the OEM aux light. You're going to plug this in, but then you're, this choice, um, like choice one, has individual pins you have to crimp. You have the waterproof um, little, little grommets, and it'd be, you know, you have to supply your own wire. So if you're really into it and you want to do your own thing, you get this, you get this, which is the, actually a duplicate of the, um, just a different color, a duplicate of the aux light connector. Whoops. Oh, that was fast. Um, I'm always flipping and slipping things here. Sorry. Um, slippy little buggers. You get to spare one of those. And that comes as a kit. That was, um, you get... Two, two pin, three pin, four and six. So all these other ones here are, are really not needed, not used. So this is kind of more of a, like, why would you want to go in that direction option? But I found this first. Bought it, proved it out that this is the particular HM and MT series uh, 090 connectors that I needed. So then I just kept digging. So I found uh, possibility number two. These are pigtails, obviously much easier to work with. No crimping, no waterproofing, no wires, no stripping, no nothing, except on at least on this end. So this this is a, um, you get two of each. Uh, again, some spares. So you get two of these. So one, for, obviously, for your left aux light, whatever you're doing. And, or, yeah, and then another one for the other side for the other light. So this little kit right here, this will get you everything you need for $10.09. And again, it's a uh, Sumitomo HM090 series. And it gives you some part numbers. I went to their site, and there are so many connectors and so many pages of uh, specifications. Um, you can make a career just trying to dig to the next level of this stuff. But this is, I'm going to stop there. So this is what we're doing. We've got connectors, both both sides of these. Um, we've got connectors, both sides of these for your power. And again, uh, grow your own um, pins, waterproofing, connector. And you can do your own crimping and all that here if you want to go in that direction. So that's about it. Um, anyone that wants to use the factory wire harness, the... Uh, factory dash switch which obviously it works really well I mean you can you can come up with your own save some money um, I just I like plug-and-play and, and not butchering wire harnesses I just don't especially when I've um, when I've found basically solutions here with pigtails for anything that you would want to do with aux lights on a x300 so this was a short brief, kind of, and I'm going to stop talking. And anyways, enjoy your aux light, you know, world of possibilities. And we'll see you on the next one.